right, we talk to our kids a lot about what they want to be when they grow up. But uh, Paula Ferris, who I had the pleasure of working with at my previous news network, is talking more about being who you are. I think we all need that reminder, right? She has a new book out. In fact, I have it in my hot little hands right here. But we're going to put it on your screen. And it's called Who Do You Want to Be When You Grow Up? Uh, Paula is an award-winning journalist and her book is all about flipping the script, about the conversations that we have with students, as teachers, and as parents to focus more on character and growth. Joining us right now to discuss all of this is Paula. Hey, girl. Hello, my friend. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me on. And yes, let's flip that script, Adrian. <laughs> well, I opened the, I will tell you, as part of my research, oh, I just found your cute little note. Thank you. I didn't read this yet. I'll read it later. Uh, <laughs> I got a little love note from Bala Ferris. But inside, uh, I was looking through the book, and I'm turning the pages. And so many times, you ask kids, what do you want to be when you grow up? Hi, little puppy dog, who's on TV, I too. I know. She's, she's going mental. Sorry. Addie, come on, Addie. It's OK. We'll just work through it. <laughs> no, as a mom, as a dog owner, um, but you have the conversations around the dinner table with dad. You have the conversation with her mom, who she yeah. happens to be a journalist in the book. Yeah. And, and finally, you know, coming to that aha moment of yes. you want to be who you are, not just be what. Yeah, if you think about it, Adrian, like one of the first questions that were asked in a room, what's your name? What do you do? And we have this yeah. pressure in America to do, to accomplish, to achieve. Let me grab my dog real quick. Come here, Addison. <laughs> Come here, honey. This is live television, everybody. This is life with Paula Ferris. This um, is what happens when you broadcast in your basement. But we ask people, what do you want to do? And that pressure to do is passed on to our children. Okay, yeah. so I just thought like, our kids bring so much more to the table than what they do. Now, I'm not trying to demonize work or villainize work. Work is very oh, no. necessary. Most of us have to work, right? But there's a difference between loving what you do and being defined by what you do. And and we have to start praising the right things in our kids, not just when they ace their exam or, you know, they kill it on, on the football field. Let's praise character and let's start asking kids, who do you want to be? Like, what kind of person do you want to be? And, yes. and fostering their talents and gifts because they offer so much more to this world, Adrian, than their job. And, and so often we equate our worth with work. You know, so, I, I just, I, I can't agree with you more. I talked to a teenager this weekend because I was speaking at an all girls Catholic school. And uh, I asked the young lady, what is it like to be 17 years old? And her answer was, yes. it's overwhelming. Because there's yeah. so much opportunity, you feel bad that you're not seeking out all those opportunities. And I asked, right. what's the most important thing to you? And do you know what she told me, Paula? She said it was to be happy and help I make other people that. happy. Yeah. You have you this. See, right there, right there, Adrian, at the very, yes, it's like asking the right questions. What are your kids good at? What do they love? And what's important to them? That yeah. question pulling that out because there's so much pressure on these kids from the time, like they're six years old. Yeah. Hey, figure out the rest of your life right now. <laughs> you know how overwhelming that is? And guess what? The reality is you're not just gonna do one thing for the rest of your life. I mean, Adrian, I'm a prime yeah. example. I used to work in network television. Now I'm a founder of a company called Carrie, which exists to support working moms and families. And that's this is part an extension of the work I'm doing to support families and mothers and children. And all my proceeds, by the way, go to the Boys and Girls Clubs. Oh. I Oh, you nice. have a strong affiliation. Yes. You have a strong affiliation with the Boys and Girls Club. So all my author proceeds are going to them. I'm a trustee. Kids are our future, Adrian. We got to start asking the right question. We got to start fostering and praising the things that matter most. And and that's where it starts with asking, what kind of person do you want to be? <laughs> and a dog lover right, is clearly who you are. Mm -hmm. And there's a dog I in the guess. book for all the kids who like dogs and some really good <laughs> questions for parents and kids. Paula, good to see you and congratulations. This is a beautiful oh, book. I loved every thank page you. of it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.